Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This is one of the services that I provide on YouTube for free when people send a comment that I cannot land a job, I have uh, have this degree, I have done this, that, everything. And when they put a comment, I usually ask them to send me the resume because the resume is the first thing that they're sending out to represent their skills or whatever they want to do. That tells me a lot of what's going on with, uh, you know, uh, the the member or the, the subscriber he this person may not be even a member it may be just a subscriber or maybe first timer so first I want to give a little warning when I say something to you indirectly please do not mind anything I like to help out so I like to be straightforward when things are not good or things doesn't make sense because that's how other people are looking at your resume so please do not take this personally any any of my comments and my comments are not 100% there definitely could be maybe my comments may be wrong in your area maybe you may have you maybe you take this somewhere else and somebody else some other professional may give you a better advice than myself so try my my advice as an kind of like you know extra uh, you know point for yourself so you should go around and check with other people so first one is that I'm interested in this video I just graduated graduated May this year with bachelor's in cyber security so this person have a bachelor's in cyber security I cannot find a job I'm looking for an entry level help this or anything I don't mind I just want to start what's your advice on this then you commented back again and you kind of cleared a little bit more actually this is like a transition and I do not have any experience I was working as a unit secretary at hospital but I will send you my resume tomorrow so the person sent me the resume and now let's go ahead and check the resume uh, here it is okay so here uh, you your resume right when I opened it you know when I opened it I cannot read this like you know this the summary nobody reads this long summary and I'll show you what should be how much you should put on in in your summary or the first you already put objective right here um, this this is enough for somebody to read they just want to move down now they want to move down quickly to check your features right from just opening your resume I see a mistake right here that I'm not gonna read this you know so a lot of people yeah you can tell them and then you put look you're you're applying to an entry level position you said you don't have an experience but you put I have expert knowledge of Linux and let me tell you this is not to joke around this is not to make fun of anybody I'm just telling you that the approach that you're using is definitely wrong for entry level positions because you're applying for a position that will pay you 30 to 60k in Maryland DC Virginia area and you probably will start with something low like you know in entry level positions and you're putting something that you say that you have expert knowledge in Linux Oracle Java when people have these type of skills they're making over 80k right now they will not even come down there they have so they have so much confidence and they go for different type of jobs than just help this so you right there you're telling someone who is going to be checking your resume and then you're applying for a position that doesn't make sense over here so try to understand this this is not a proper wording this is not a proper skills uh, that you're using even if you have these skills then uh, because you already mentioned that you don't have any experience so then I'm just gonna say that remove this because it will not help you none of this stuff where you put expert I have this many experience or that much experience that's not going to help you when you try to go for internship positions or try to go for entry level junior positions these things are gonna come back and fire back at you and that's why you will not get any calls okay so this all of this should go away and I'll show you later on what you should be putting right here uh, in one of our sample resume then if you go down you see how uh, the the outline of this is is just bad you know if you like if I look at this skill summary um, none of this is in line right now so you, you I don't know if you copy pasted it or how you use this you typed it without any alignments or anything like that you can see um, you know if I look at it you know it just definitely it's gonna hurt my eyes right now because 
I'm not going to be able to even look in what am I looking software then it goes jump jumped here in networking so it's very like you know it's not even even up uh, with the with the skills that you're trying to present to someone yeah that, that looks okay you know if you put it in different uh, uh, like you know try to let's say put it in the bullets or something like that maybe it'll just kind of clear it out but yeah okay I'll show you a sample this is still not good so then you go down and you say education again if you look at this uh, format right here and then you look at this format both are different you know there's too much space going on right here yet you don't have any spaces right here so even the formatting just you know like I said resume is your representation so if you if you don't put it if you don't put work in it if you don't put some effort into it then the person will just say okay you're just not serious enough and when they see something like this Linux export stuff and and you're trying to apply to positions that are not even close then of course that's just not gonna match not, nothing will match over here okay so that's definitely even if you have all these skills I feel like then you're not applying to right positions so either you should remove that or you should put something entry level don't put anything export level stuff and if, if you go down right here then you have so many different things in your uh, you know professional experience while you said you don't have any professional experience so then I'm just assuming this is template because you don't want to send this resume to anybody where you are presenting yourself that you don't have an experience don't take me wrong please I really want to help people and this is not gonna help you putting stuff like this is definitely not gonna help you and it's just gonna backfire on you because if you put like I said you have put VLAN in there you put VPN in there you put PowerShell in there you put Red Hat in there and this these are the things that people are making 100k 80k 90k so that's definitely not gonna work for your hair so remove this definitely just put something like you know whatever you're doing right now use that and then use some of the training that you're you're actually going for training and I'll show you later on you can actually look for internship position you can look for in, in interlove positions that that people are just looking for people like you who really want to get in and learn on the job you know so of course you can take our courses to get better than to get a better less stress and everything you can learn things quickly but you still you don't have to do these type of courses you can still land a job and learn from that company and you still don't have to use all this stuff you can just use your normal uh, you know whatever you're working and and just start applying to position because you're telling them look I got the bachelor's I finished my bachelor's you put internship out there you put an entry level out there so that's why I'm here because I really want to learn on the job and people love that you know when you show that passion so if you come down you see how your format changed so much space in here then come back all the way down and then again you have so much spaces in here things are some bullets are big some bullets are small then again there's spaces in here and you know it's just it's just not a good resume okay so definitely my recommendation to you is to uh, change all your resume you know don't even use this resume it's not gonna work for you so how are you gonna fix it we have a template which I'm gonna show you how to download so you will show you right now this may not be the perfect resume but look look how clean this is first you're putting your name you're putting everything in there which are you should you probably have that and you removed it which is good summary of qualification you just put something very small in there you know something like two or three lines right there that's that's enough for someone to just read about you okay you're showing some good passion about you know networking and stuff like that you know what you're talking about area expertise you know you're putting something in there like okay I I know about ticketing system I know about office 365 I know about now a lot I even put a comments right here that you only one if this is your first IT job in this this uh, sample resume because you don't want to put two if you if this is your first job that you're applying to so you're going to be using one in here and then if you go down it says active directory user management client and server technology this is something that you learn in the courses where you have domain control computers you you manage them you know by deploying some things that's kind of like server client technology build and manage virtual machines you learn all of this stuff in the courses that, that you know you you take with us if you're not taking all these courses with with us then at least you should go outside and learn about these technologies you know there are a bunch of YouTube videos there are there are different type of documentation I'm not sure if there's specific courses on these things like yeah you will find something on office 365 but I, I don't think you're gonna find something on ticketing system I don't think you're gonna find something specific about Active Directory course itself designed for help desk these are the things that we do to help you 
uh, you know, make your resume look better. And also, uh, when you land a job, then other steps are there. You know, you have the stress to learn things quickly. So definitely, you are going to be using this. And then you see how technical and computer skills got, you know, separated out. And everything looks really nice when you put something in there. So, so this is for people like HR people. They want to quickly look into expertise okay oh like you know ticketing system we use ticketing system we use remedy i like this person because th this person knows about ticketing okay office 365 oh yeah we use ticketing the uh, office 35 because we got emails you see how you're playing with the hr mind right there because you're talking to them directly and they they kind of start liking your resume and and when you go down let's say this hr is also a little technical person or maybe this person have a technical person with them then this is where this person gets in and say oh okay this person knows about networking patch management management okay this person knows a lot about some some of the things that we use and known in market like spiceworks everybody knows about these the uh, these names these are big names out there so you see you start you start throwing these names out there making the terms let the terms talk about you you know so this is where it done and and you're not even saying i'm an expert over here you're just putting a term right there you have learned about it so you see how you're not letting them think about you then that okay you're applying for a position that's entry level but you're putting spice work expert why did you put expert in there you know because they're not going to just accept that so you see how you you easily kind of start playing in their mind try to put yourself in their shoes and now now start thinking see how things change for you and then when you go down that's where experience will start talking about okay so now maybe you you i would suggest you go take internship with somebody go work with your friends maybe they'll give you some internship hours in their company go uh, uh to the college and ask them hey you know what i really want to apply for jobs and you guys thought this whole big course i paid so much money at least give us some type of internships or give me some type of credentials on my resume so i can put it and i'm sure they're going to try to help you out but if you don't then of course you can take our live trainings and we do these kind of things to help you and it looks like this exactly looks like this you're going to be working on some of the things it's not going to be fully like this but maybe it will be like you know building a machine building a student machine and then on dmet solutions working on products and things that are even not a full it stuff but still it gives you name out there right but you're still working it's not free and it's not just given to you and so this is something that you're going to work for if you don't have it like i said don't worry about it as long as you study as long as you go for the real world it training ours or somebody else i don't care but if you go for these type of trainings and you know how to talk about these things that you're putting on your resume ticketing office 35 active directory then you're gonna have uh good results because that's exactly what they want to hear you know and when you come down that's where the academic qualification is going to if you have to certification you have academic you have that bachelor's you drop it right here it looks good on your resume i never said to people don't go for these things because it does help you if you have it then you use it it's a benefit to you you are better than the person who don't have it and the person who don't have it you are also in a, in a positive situation where you can land a job and then still get these academic credentials from other you know universities try to go for bigger degrees become a manager or director later on and then it later on uh, all the last stage like okay this person have some unique certification which i've explained this so many times to people that are you only the one who is going to be going with a plus certification no you're not going to be only the one they're going to have even better certification than you there may be three people and all three of them should have a plus certification these days it's common people just go for this because it's known to people it's like a trend out there but what is what are what is it that is going to make you unique now okay now you fixed your resume they didn't throw your resume out because you just put some some things that is that totally didn't make sense in the beginning now you fixed it now you put this stuff right here what will happen that out of three people who got the unique resume who got the unique certification something extra that you did for to get this job now i'm not saying you take our certification go take somebody somebody else certification and you put it right here at least put something in here unique that is going to get you the kind of you know uh, um, i would say like it, it, will, it will be better for you and um to be honest i was actually surprised today and i'll show you this um, uh, email uh, I, i'm just going to copy the the text from that email let me show you that right now just to make you a little bit more motivated give me one second i spoke to you about an hour about 
uh, not able to access. So this member actually had an issue with the course continue. Uh, he basically needed to log off and log back in. But he said that, but you helped me in that issue. We also talked about how you helped me get in an Active Directory help this job by your recommendation on taking the Active Directory course before going out for the interview. Thanks a lot for the tremendous help. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much. So this person actually, when he called me, I just told him like, hey, you know, you may not want to take the live training. That's fine. You can just take this Active Directory course before you go to this interview. And he did that and he landed a job. And I was just surprised, you know, because he was telling me on the phone and I was like, hey, man, I, th I think you need to put this in the email because I really want to share this with uh, the members because that's, that's what it is. You know, that's the reality. I spend this time uh, you know, and then uh, I, I want to see something, you know, I want to definitely see some success. Uh, and that makes me happy. That's more that motivates me in my mission. But it, it should motivate you also by putting all this stuff. When I say that do these things, I'm not just saying this. Uh, from nowhere I have 15 years of experience in IT so I've seen this stuff I see this on daily basis so that's why I'm telling you all of this stuff but again you don't have to go with my words you can just do whatever you want to do but that was my take on your uh, resume and your problem why you're not getting calls back this is the reason so you should be getting this sample where are you gonna get this sample from you need to go to the community uh, just log in and even free members can download this just go to the resume hub and go to resume builder and as soon as you log in you're gonna be in this page if you don't see this page this just, just put org slash community and then click on download and you're going to download exactly the same resume there may be a mistake in this there's one mistake uh, like letter error so make sure you fix that but other than that it's it's a good resume to just twist it a little bit learn all about these courses free or paid whatever you want to do if you want to get those certification uh, codes and everything then of course you need to be a paid member and if you just want to put in progress or just put something you know there that you are doing these courses it is definitely gonna uh, give you a different results uh, I believe that but you have to try to apply to many many places to get results you cannot be those one of those people that okay I'll just apply to two three places and I'm getting I don't I, I don't I didn't get a call back that's not gonna happen you have to apply like 10 15 20 30 places and then expect any calls and and also that's gonna happen after some time maybe 20 days or something like that two two weeks or three weeks because people gather these resume they they kind of look into it and then after that they respond so I hopefully I I try my best to cover some of the major things in your resume and uh, moving on to another resume. See you in the other one. Thank you.